Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. So this weekend, we are actually going on a little family vacation. Right now, it's 5.30 on Friday. It's me and the dog. I'm not sure if you can see him back there. Uh, he is an absolute lunatic in the car and a misery to travel with. Uh, he hates motorcycles and uh, he flips his lid every time he sees them. Um, not sure what that's all about. But so this weekend we are heading up to Sedona. So where's the rest of my family, you might ask? They're already there. Uh, I started a new job this past Monday. Uh, so I wasn't right, obviously, to ask for my first Friday off to go on a trip. So I'm leaving Phoenix now, the Scottsdale area, heading up to Sedona. It is a two-hour drive. Very much looking forward to uh, the cooler temperatures. It's been, you know, 100 or so uh, in the last couple weeks here. So it's nice to get up to Sedona where it's, you know, 80 degrees tops and uh, gets back down to like 60 at night. So this is a good trip to take. I have never been to Sedona before. And uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to run some B-roll from my time in Sedona. I'm going to try to just capture uh, whatever I can. Obviously, I'm not going to go too crazy with uh, filming for YouTube as it is a, uh, a family vacation. But uh, if I have the opportunity to uh, pop the drone in the air or uh, just get some, some uh, family footage, uh, I will splice that in here for you to enjoy. Five days later today is Wednesday I recorded the intro to this video on Friday on my way to Sedona since then I have spent Saturday part of Sunday part of Monday Tuesday and Wednesday in the hospital so my trip to Sedona was uh, not not great I got to Sedona Friday night I was late to Sedona because the rest of my family had gotten there earlier than me because I had to work for the day and um, they brought me food back. I was already sleeping when everybody got back from the restaurant basically. And I, I ate a, basically just a normal barbecue chicken pizza. But something happened where I, I woke up in the middle of the night, um, Saturday morning basically about four in the morning and my lip was just huge. Um, I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe I got bit by a spider in my sleep or something. So I ran to the corner store, uh, got some Benadryl, took that, uh, watched myself for a little bit, made sure nothing was getting worse. It wasn't, so I went back to sleep. So Saturday, uh, sometime around noon, uh, I my throat started to feel funny and my lip wasn't going down um, and my the, the, the swelling started going into my chin. And... Um, with allergies and, and stuff like that, especially being in somewhere I wasn't familiar with, I, I just didn't want to risk it. So I went to immediate care. And uh, my experience at immediate care in Sedona was not great, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Basically, they asked me what I thought that I should do, and um, they tried to tell me I had strep throat. Um, so I went to the emergency room because I wasn't comfortable with the, what, they were, what they were telling me. Uh, so I went to the emergency room in Sedona, Sure enough, they told me that my throat actually was uh, swelling, so they caught it early enough. They gave me Benadryl, steroids, uh, Pepsid, which is another antihistamine, um, and basically just kind of hit me with everything. Watched me for, um, I think, probably three or four hours, uh, and then everything seemed to be uh, doing better, so they, they let me on my way. So I didn't feel really all that great Saturday. I kind of just bummed around um, in the place we were staying, which was beautiful. Um, and my daughter had an awesome time. They had a, a, a 
trampoline and a playground and all kinds of stuff at this at this beautiful property that uh, my family had uh, had gotten for the weekend and I just I wasn't up for anything so I kind of just bummed around all day uh, the bunch of the family went out for a hike on Saturday which I did not obviously partake in so I took all those meds on uh, Saturday and uh, went to sleep early on, on, on Saturday night and then my family, we, we kind of left early Sunday morning uh, to head back to Scottsdale. So Sunday night, I woke up with just excruciating uh, uh, stomach pains. I mean, like nothing I've ever felt in my life. Uh, and my, my mouth still felt funny. I, I just, something wasn't right, so I drove myself to the hospital. They kept me into Monday morning and it really kind of had no answers. They ran a whole bunch of tests on me, said that everything came back uh, relatively okay. That you know, obviously I was I was there for a reason, but they gave me a bunch of pain uh, medication so I could sleep for the night. And um, they kind of sent me on my way and said, if it happens again, come back. So I missed Monday uh, of work and uh, went back home, and I felt actually okay. Still some random swelling with some hives, uh, kind of here and there, but. Uh, I, I just kind of took the meds and was going through it. But again, Monday night, I just, I woke up and the pain was even worse than it was Sunday night. Um, it just, it felt like I had to vomit, but nothing would come up. It felt like I was being stabbed in the stomach, basically. And I was just on the floor in pain that I've never been in, in my entire life. So we have a two-year-old, um, you know, the, the, the previous hospital trip, I, I drove myself, which I really probably shouldn't have. Uh, I, I was really in rough shape. Basically, by the time I got into the ER, I, I was buckled over in pain, so I really shouldn't have been driving. So I just called 911, and I, I just took the ambulance ride um, into the hospital. And the nurses right away were like, oh, you're, you're back with the same thing. Uh, we're going to admit you. So uh, Monday night, they admitted me. Um, they basically just knocked me out for the night with uh, uh, pain stuff, monitored me. Um, put me back on uh, steroids and, and all that, um, just the whole regiment. Uh, Monday morning I woke up and I was seen by a, a, a gastro doctor. Basically they said you definitely have an allergic reaction to something, we don't know necessarily what it is, and they basically said that they wanted to know until I went to an allergist to figure it out. So then they cut me into, uh, um, basically they cut me from a Monday night and just released me today as Wednesday uh, about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon after uh, you know I, I was symptom free in the stomach for for the night so they basically said it looks like whatever maybe a stomach bug or something but basically what it boils down to is something I had a t terrible allergic reaction to something don't know what it was never had it in my life combined with the worst stomach flu that I've ever had in my life so it's like the two things uh, combined just completely knocked me out uh, so I got to enjoy zero of Sedona. So uh, if you ask me how, uh, you know, what I think about Sedona, I can tell you the place we stayed was very nice. You know, I was pretty much down for the count. So hopefully I can go back and experience a little bit better. But uh, I did get some great drone shots, and that's about as far as that vacation went. So I wanted to update everybody. This is also why I clearly haven't any content out in a while. Um, you know, there's, there's kind of been a lot going on. I also started a new job last week, uh, which has caught into some uh, video editing time. So. Uh, ultimately, there's more content coming, but um, you know I've had a, I've had a busy uh, five days in and out of the hospital, mostly in. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, uh, please subscribe down below, and remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. So, we will see you next time.